वेलकम टू आर एस एस बी आई टू थाउजेंड एटीन अहमदाबाद आई एम डॉक्टर शाहो इंगोले एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मी लाइव ऑन आर एस एस बी आई टी वी ब्रॉड टू यू बाय वोकाड फार्मास्युटिकल्स आई एम ऑनर टू हैव विथ मी द रिनाउंड एंडोक्राइनोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम त्रिवेंद्रम डॉक्टर ज्योतिदेव सर सर इज द चेयरमैन एंड चीफ डायबेटोलॉजिस्ट ज्योतिदेव डायबेटिक रिसर्च सेंटर त्रिवेंद्रम सो वेलकम टू द शो सर थैंक यू सो सर बेस्ड ऑन यू आर रिसेंट टॉक इन आर एस एस बी आई टू थाउजेंड एटीन which was on which was on use of technology in the diagnosis and overall management of the diabetes patients we would like to know your view points how best we can use the technology for diagnostic purposes in diabetes patients uh, first of all uh, thank you dr uh, shakhu and uh, vokar for this opportunity uh, of course uh, we discussed about various new technologies in diabetes so technologies i would say uh, is and will revolutionize the way we treat diabetes if you look at the overall scenario of diabetes though we are having lot of medications and uh, diagnostic tools for diabetes more than 97% of patients ultimately succumb to the vascular complications of diabetes so it's a disease where failure rates are more than success there is a, there is, a, there is more of failure in diabetes and that could be overcome only with the judicious use of technologies so in my uh, lecture yesterday on uh, update on technologies we discussed about the new sensors we discussed about the uh, new artificial pancreatic systems some of them already in the market and some of them in the pipeline and uh, we also discussed about various uh, connected devices and internet of things and how the wearable devices are going to uh, revolutionize diabetes care of course uh, these are little more expensive but ultimately it is going to reduce the overall uh, cost of the care of diabetes so sir uh, can you <coughs> throw some light on uh, the artificial pancreas and the use of sensors and how it will how the it will be acceptable in indian population so historically if you look at the uh, launch of uh, all these devices in india it all started way back in 2004 i still remember using the first pump in 2004 and then within a couple of months the first sensor that even the first glucose sensor device was available in india that was a continuous glucose monitoring system or cdms gold and that was way back in 2004 2005 so when you look at generations of these sensors from generation 1 onwards for each year or once in every 3 years there was an advancement over the existing technologies so now in india we have the ipro2 sensors for quite some time for glucose monitoring it is a retrospective device we have libre pro which has become extremely popular as a device which doesn't require a, a calibration with a glucose meter and day before yesterday a new sensor was launched in india that is guardian connect uh, where you have your mobile phone and in the mobile phone you can have the app and this is uh, probably the first ever popular real time glucose monitoring device you look at the phone and you get the values all the time so once in every 5 minutes it changes and that is guardian connect so every sensor when there is an advancement in the technology it becomes more and more an accurate so when the sensors are becoming more accurate indirectly we are becoming more and more successful in closing the loop so now what do you mean by closing the loop closing the loop simply means you are connecting an insulin pump wirelessly with a sensor and through it you are connecting to a control algorithm and this control algorithm are very sophisticated mathematical algorithms which could be model predictive control or proportional integral derivative or fuzzy logic and these three together ultimately will automate the delivery of insulin for example a 640g in india 670g in the us so these are all advanced insulin pumps with artificial pancreatic algorithms which are currently in india capable of stopping the insulin delivery half an hour before the onset of hypoglycemia so that hypoglycemia is never going to occur and when the glucose is at back to normal the insulin delivery automatically resumes so we are extremely successful in almost closing the loop and with 670g 
we are even capable of automating the basal delivery of insulin. So I would say that uh, since the discovery of insulin, insulin was discovered almost 100 years ago. So when you look at those technological advancements of the last 50 years, more advancements in diabetes technologies have happened in the last five years compared to the past five decades. So this is an era where we need to celebrate. So sir, we are positively looking forward to the use of technology in the diagnosis and management of the diabetes mellitus using the sensors and uh, the closed loop system. But when it comes to the complications, nowadays everybody is talking about the artificial intelligence. So do you think that the artificial intelligence has any role to play as far as uh, uh, early identification of the complications of the diabetes is concerned? Uh, it's a very good question, Dr. Uh, Shahu, a very, very good question. Artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning, uh, internet of things and connected devices, all of them uh, are probably very much getting benefited uh, with diabetes, diagnostics and with the management. For example, some of these algorithms in the sensors, many of these algorithms in the artificial pancreatic systems, they are also capable of machine learning. And there is one discovery, and that is from an Indian uh, born scientist, uh, Bhargav Susale and his team, uh, based out of Singapore. And they have uh, actually come out with a Remedio camera and an algorithm where at the uh, clinic or in the hospital we can detect diabetic retinopathy. So we are never ever going to miss a diabetic retinopathy. You know, diabetes is the commonest cause of blindness now in the world. So the initial stages of retinopathy itself without consulting an ophthalmologist, this algorithm is capable of detecting the retinopathy, highlighting those areas where there is retinopathy and you can readily refer the patient to the uh, expert physician. And again, AI has a, got a role uh, in uh, some of these insulin pens which are again connected devices. AI has been incorporated in some of the dashboards where glucose meters and glucose sensors are connected to the faults along with other algorithms. So AI will have a pivotal role very near in the future, including in many of the apps used for uh, diabetes treatment and for the diagnostics in revolutionizing the way we treat diabetes. So everything is going to be good only. These technologies, whatever it may be, eventually will reduce the overall cost of treating diabetes. So, sir, on behalf of Vokad Pharmaceuticals, we would like to thank you for such a wonderful discussion and your valuable time. So, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Shanku and the Vokad team.